Hello you guys, welcome back to Kamonica's channel. This video is going to be my week 111 update to my weight loss journey. I'm sick and tired of being fat. So basically at week 108, I, was, I had dropped 187 pounds. I posted a picture on Facebook. I don't really see a difference. I did notice that my booty dropped down, which is awesome, you know, because my booty was so big, you guys, that it sat on my back. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, it sat on my back. Like, you can freaking sit cups on top of my booty. It was crazy. So, yeah, it's that's dropping. That's really the only big thing that I've noticed. I'm not sure what picture I posted, what pound I was at. I'm not sure. I maybe was at 170, so I'm not sure. But anyway, from that picture to the 187 pound down picture, the only big thing that I've noticed is like my booty dropped a little bit more, which is awesome. You know, it's still round and stuff, but um, it has dropped, which is pretty awesome, I think. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know that even when you're, when you're just seeing like one or two pounds here on the scale when you take pictures and you look at those pictures you can see it sometime and talking about seeing it you guys it's weird because I go back and I look at my pictures on Facebook or I might look at like my old videos and it's funny because when I look in the mirror I still see that 400 an 81 pound girl you know I still see that girl so um, I know that a lot of you guys have said to me that you don't really see the weight loss like the scale says you know you've lost this but when you look in the mirror you look the same like don't think you guys are alone like I'm letting you guys know that you're not alone when I look in the mirror I still see a 481 pound you know girl believe it or not I still see it every single day um, and I guess because I am still overweight, maybe that's what it is, because I'm still overweight. Um, maybe when I get down closer to my goal, I won't see, you know, that 481-pound girl. I don't know. Or, you know, I might always see her, which is not always a bad thing. You know, I can always flip that and just it'll be an encouragement never to go back to that. You know, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so yeah, I still, you know, see that 480 pound girl in the mirror and it's just, it encourages me, you know, to keep going and keep getting this weight off of me. Uh, so like I stated, it's 111 weeks now and I've dropped four more pounds since my 108 week update. And so I'm at 191 now. Yeah, I'm at 191. That's pretty awesome, you guys. I'm consistently losing weight, you know, slowly but surely. Everybody's not going to lose the weight, lose weight the same as you guys already know. I've talked about that in so many different videos. You just lose the weight at your own pace, whether it's slow, whether it's fast, however, whatever you're doing. Just be consistent and do what's best for you and never let anyone tell you how to do your journey. Um, here lately, I've had a lot of people come to my channel and, you know, say things like, I must have had gastric bypass and all this craziness, which is pretty crazy to me because I don't know. I don't know how that works you know i've never i looked into it but i didn't look into it to the like way before i even started my journey i looked into it because i got desperate but then i was like you know i don't have any health problems i can do this by myself you know so um and that's just how i feel about it not saying that people let me clear this up not saying that people um that has gastric bypass can't do it themselves i'm not judging anyone do what you do. I follow people journeys on YouTube that has had get your back pass. I figure everyone within themselves make the right choices for themselves. So whatever choices that you make, you make that choice for yourself to better yourself and your health. Okay? But anyway, and so I've had people come on here saying that I've had gastric bypass and all this. And if you follow me, I don't, I'm, I think that I, if I had any type of surgery, I would have 
lost weight quicker than this, maybe? I don't know. What y'all think? I don't know, because this is like almost 200 pounds in over two years. So, I guess even with surgery, it probably works the same way. Um, maybe people still lose weight differently. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Whatever. But, um, you know, for the people that, you know, follow my journey, you guys know that I've been doing this, you know. Um, so, whatever. And, you know, just to, for the new people, this is, you know, uh, I just eat healthy and I exercise. I haven't had any surgery. Um, like I said, I'm still overweight. I would never, ever, 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 ever in a million years say that I won't do something. You know, because you never know what you would do. You know, something can happen in my life tomorrow and I gain 191 pounds back. You know, why would I say that I would never have surgery? Because you never know what will happen in your life you know right now I think I'm doing pretty good you know doing it on my own I'm consistent I slip sometimes but I'm still consistent so I'm pretty I'm doing pretty awesome I think on my own and so anyway whatever I can go on and on on that topic so as far as school goes I have my schedule set up because I know I talked about school in my last video I have my schedule set up pretty awesome I have evening classes I'm in classes only three hours so it doesn't affect my eating habits or anything like that so that's pretty awesome it doesn't affect like my food routine or anything like that so that worked out awesome so you guys, that is my 111 week update to my weight loss journey. I want to say thank you guys so very much for sending emails to me, text messages, whatever it may be, tweets, you know, letting me know to be safe. Hurricane Isaac is on his way, so I'm leaving out today. Um, yeah, so thanks so very much you guys for um, the love and I'm going to try my best to be safe. It's only going to be, you know, I've been staying in the South forever so we've seen hurricanes come and go uh, many times. So this is only a hurricane, I think it's category one, which is really not scary to us because we've been, you know, through fives and whatever. But um, I'm still going to leave home just to be safe, you know, you'd rather be safe than sorry. So for anyone that stays in these southern states or wherever the hurricane may be or go or whatever, be safe out there. And I will see you guys soon in the next one. I know I have some requests out there. I'm going to get them out as soon as possible. Thanks, guys. I love y'all so, so, so very much. And thank you so very much for continuing to support my journey. I love you. Peace.